guys always a pleasure having you around thank you so very much for joining me on this other exciting episode of hot and juicy with me miss Meng. hope you guys are doing fine and ready for some real infotainment if that's the case take the best position wherever you're watching me right now and let's get it popping with the first segment of this program coming up right away Cameroonian artist and reality TV star Fish got involved in a serious accident barely two weeks after winning the Biggie 237 reality TV show. Just few days after winning 12 million francs CFA from the Biggie show with a brand new car, Fish got himself stuck in a serious car accident with the car he won. Thank God no life was lost, but what actually happened? That's the big question. Let's hear from Fish. How they just start cancel bam, TV flux. On the road, let me say you pass it one, another one, sit down, one sit there. Now, so come younger, you come on my back. Ha! You come on my back, so can say for front motor, so for highway, for dark is a bush. I mean, I'm boy in that jump, jump, the come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, five boy in. The come on, come on, it's not a kind of style, I'm just saying, I suck up, I don't know, I mean, mommy. Hey, fuck, I do that. Hey! We thank God Fish is safe and sound, but wait, who are actually those trying to fight him? Because ever since he won the show, a lot of strange things have been happening to him. And I think he needs security around him because after the accident, what could follow? What next? The Fikafuti elections are coming up a few hours from now and the pressure keeps rising from all directions. Out of the six candidates going in for these elections, two have rejoined their candidacy, giving their votes over to Samuel Leto, who will compete with others. But Samuel Leto's main competitor here is Seydou Mbombonjoya, who is currently leading the institution. Seydou Mbombonjoya has gathered the support of almost all Fikafuti's regional delegates from six regions, leaving his main opponent Samuel Leto with just four regions. But now, Seydu is in the midst of a big controversy. He's been accused of allegedly embezzling state money. But my question now is, will this accusation play against him? Because up to now, looks like he's the favorite to win those presidential elections. What about Eto, guys? Does he stand the chance of winning? Remember his friend Lionel Messi has promised to come to Cameroon if he wins the elections. Eto really desires to lead this institution because according to him, it has been mismanaged for a very long time and needs changes only him can bring. And my question again is, will his past glories play in his favor? Guys, let's wait for the elections to come. Jovi takes shots at Malox and calls him a big pick. This comes after Malox was seen on set with Minx and Appy shooting the upcoming AFCOM 2022 song celebration. And this is the second time Jovi throws shots at Malox in the space of just one week. During an exclusive interview Jovi offered the Dwala Music Festival, he openly said that all Malox's songs are his flows, accusing him of copying him. Until now, Malox hasn't said anything. Should he even say something? I mean, guys, is Jovi's issue with Malox going too far at this stage? Let me know in the comments section. Welcome on our international showbiz scene, guys. Two African beauty queens are presently leading the Miss World 2021 competition presently holding at Puerto Rico. The Miss World beauty pageant, which kicked off a few days ago, saw Ivorian and Cameroonian beauty queens emerging at the top three, with Olivia Yase occupying the first position, Audrey Monka, Miss Cameroon came second, and Miss Puerto Rico came third. These are the top three to run the finals coming up in just a few days ahead, guys. I am pleading. Let's all download the Mobstar app so that we can vote for Audrey Moncam. It will be a beautiful thing if Miss World 2021 is a Cameroonian. So let's vote for Audrey Moncam. Okay, guys, that's all we have for the first segment of this program. Thank you so very much for still watching. If you are new here, make sure you subscribe to our channel and turn on notifications. It is time for us to have it more entertaining with our top 10 hottest Cameroonian songs this week. Coming up right away. Opening our playlist this episode, guys, is this beautiful brand new release titled Panya from Yangi featuring Petit Pay. Baby, tell me what you do, do for Panya. Everything when you define them, I get time for, yeah. Uh, Come on, you go, you don't need to wait. 
Popping up at the ninth position is Icy Songs with this brand new release titled Manifest Your Power. Popping up at the eighth position is Dinga featuring Stanley Eno titled Tang Nale. Occupying our seventh position is Let You Go from Motobanga. Popping up at the sixth position, guys, is this beautiful release from Taku Joel titled Bad Boy Reputation. Cheers. Bad Boy Reputation. She said I get a bad boy reputation. Cheers. Bad boy reputation. Vogue with the song Level Up occupies the fifth position. Enough fit tell me say I'm bad. You don't fit see me from time. Even that me on my frap. Enough fit. Enough fit tell me say I'm lazy. I the polo even pass. Popping up at the fourth position is this brand new beautiful smashing collab song from Renew featuring Lidol La Slameuse and it is titled Affair d'amour. Ma chérie faut prendre doucement. Magasco featuring Stanley Eno pops up at the third position with their smashing brand new collaboration titled Better For Me. Blanche Bailey featuring Fanico comes up at the second position. Topping our playlist, this episode is still this beautiful smashing song from Kosi titled La Galère. Give me the mic, yo. La Galère. Okay, guys, unfortunately, this is where we draw the curtains for today's exciting episode of your favorite show, Hot and Juicy, with me, your host, Miss Bing. Thank you so very much, guys, for watching. Thank you for all the love, for all the support. Make sure you share this episode. And if you're new here, please subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications. I'll be right back next week with so much more. And for more information on the Cameroon entertainment industry, follow us on Facebook, on Twitter, on Instagram. It's 237 Showbiz. We're on TikTok too, 237 Showbiz. I'm very much active on our website make sure you join us on our telegram channel it's 237 showbiz and follow our new division 237 showbiz studios guys do have a great week good there we go popping up at the night please just give me let me master i see